Israeli generals reveals cost of defending against attacks of Iran. $1.33 billion. Israel has claimed success in defending itself against Saturday's drone and missile barrages by Iran, but that effort reportedly came at a high price. The interceptors, jet fuel and other materials expended in shooting down Iran's unmanned aerial vehicles and missiles cost about 4 billion to 5 billion shekels or $1.06 billion to $2.33 billion dollars, Israeli Brigadier General Reem Aminoch told local media outlet Ynet News. The estimate included only Israel's direct costs, not counting the considerable weaponry used by the US and other allies in helping to defend against the attack. Aminoch, formerly the financial advisor to the Israeli Defense Forces Chief of Staff, said West Jerusalem used such ammunitions as Arrow and David's Sling interceptor missiles, which have per unit costs of about $3.5 million and $1 million respectively. He also included sortie expenses for the fighter jets that did the bulk of the work in shooting down Iranian drones. The general lamented that it was far cheaper for Iran to launch the attack than for Israel to defend itself. The attack cost Iran less than 10% of what it cost us to defend against it, he told Ynet. In the future, in a year, two years or five years, they can carry out 50 such attacks. And let's say that if the Israel Defense Forces net budget in 2023 was 60 billion shekels, with less than double that, you have no chance of reaching a situation where we can maintain the required amounts. The Israel Defense Forces claimed that 99% of the more than 300 kamikaze drones and missiles launched from Iranian territory was successfully intercepted. All of the UAVs and cruise missiles were shot down, military spokesman Daniel Hagari said, while a few ballistic missiles got through Israel's defenses. Those projectiles fell at the Nevatim Air Base and caused only minor damage to infrastructure, the spokesman said. He added that the drones launched by Iranian-backed militants in Iraq and Yemen all failed to reach Israeli territory. The fire takes place during the peak of what is considered the dry season in South Florida, which extends until the end of May. Meteorologists said the conditions have been drier than usual across the region, and no rain is expected during the early part of this week. Firefighters in Boca Raton are working to extinguish a brush fire of north of Clint Moore Road. Boca Raton Fire Rescue Services Department leaders say the brush fire that began last Thursday morning was under control. Crews are currently conducting the controlled burns in the area of the brush fire to use up nearby fuel to prevent a possible rekindling from spreading the flames. Fire crews with multiple agencies are also working to put out any remaining hotspots the fire has caused large flames and smoke to billow into the air. Smoke can be smelled for miles depending on the location. There's no need to be worried, said Boca Raton Fire Rescue Services Department Deputy Fire Chief Jamie Smith. Multiple agencies, including Highlands County Fire Rescue, worked a large brush fire, causing residents to evacuate their homes. People were asked to avoid the area in Sun and Lake from Granada to Schumacher Road while crews were on scene. The brush fire is estimated to be 55 acres in size, according to officials, all homes on Granada Boulevard between Edgewater Drive and Ortego Street were evacuated, which were about 20 structures in total, mainly duplexes. Thank you.